you yeah. got a lot of people standing up, right? A lot of people mm -hmm. are using their common sense when it comes to this yeah. Dagon vaccine. You ain't black. <laughs> and you ain't black. Now let's talk about this because yeah. it's always yeah. been a thing in the black community that the black community is just suspicious of it. Oh yeah, remember mm -hmm. syphilis? Why remember is that it whole syphilis? Oh, not yeah. only the syphilis, yeah. but why is it always that the government somehow, well, the Democrat government somehow finds a reason mm -hmm. to where black people should get it first? They're literally saying that we should get it first because we're the most susceptible to it, so we should get in line no, first. No, we have the you, lowest population. Come in on, America, and get in line, black they people. They always try to do, and then they always try to get these prominent uh, black people. They just had a little oh ad with God. Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman pushing Morgan it. Morgan Freeman, he said, if you trust me, this is Man. what he said, if you trust me. Why would I trust you? I don't trust <laughs> you. You're an actor. Exactly. You're I mean, acting right no, now. I trust you to like, is deliver your lines. <laughs> well, I trust you to like hit your mark and do a good movie. That's no. it. <laughs> but, but, uh, but he's going off of the fact that he's God. That he's, he would right. be played. No, excuse me. He played God. He played God. Dude, look, he that go his head. You know, you can <laughs> say that like. I can't lie. He's the best voice uh, when it comes to playing God. He got his voice over. Game uh, on if point. we find someone else that yeah. has a great voice, then I mean, oh. we'll we're, we'll retire them. So yeah, they made a good choice, that, like, right? So they, they made, made a good, good choice. choice. Yeah. With him. We were arguing puppet. about whether Jesus was a black man, and he was actually a first century Israeli. But let me tell you, <laughs> well, let me tell you, Morgan Freeman, I think, is going down as history. No, uh, in Evan Almighty, yes, he is and God Bruce Almighty too. Uh, yes. so Jesus may not have been a God. black man, he plays but, plays but God. straight up God is. Yes, right. okay. <laughs> but you see how they did that? They got a man who played yeah. God and to not, try to go and play God with the black community. Ooh, damn. Come on, Ooh, man. Oh, damn! Oh, slow down! I'm about to Hulk smash this they thing right now. It's getting hot over here. A lot of black celebrities have been told this and touting this vaccine and saying that it's safe, and it's basically like they're steering the reins. Look at me! Look at me! I got it. So you can trust me. Come on. Do you know one thing, right? Everybody know that DMX just passed away. Rest in power. That one hit me. But his family is actually speaking out. They said that the news, TMZ and the fake corporate news, mm -hmm. they ran with the story immediately that his um, heart attack was due to a drug overdose. Of you know, because of his mm -hmm. drug history. But his family spoke out and said he did not have a drug overdose. Mm -hmm. That, in fact, he took the vaccine a week before his sudden heart attack. Mm -hmm. And that the reason why he took the vaccine is because he was pressured into taking it so he can perform and travel and get back on the stage again How many more but they won't even cover it if you just look up yeah. dmx's death yeah. they're just making it seem like uh, a druggie mm -hmm. had a drug overdose oh what do you know here you know what i'm saying but yet and still i mean how many more black people need to die i mean how many more people need to die mm -hmm. from okay yes they won't say it was complications yeah. from the vaccine but when they take this vaccine and all of a sudden a couple weeks later they die yeah. I, I can put two and two together pretty well well and we've been putting those two and two together yes, to get money from covid if you had any mm. kind if you had one of the 2.6 pre-existing conditions of of uh, everything from di diabetes mm -hmm. to uh, crippling depression to obesity mm -hmm. and you died within a month yeah. of any kind of COVID Automatic diagnosis, COVID. you were taking COVID death. that yeah. 45 grand and it was wow. called the COVID death. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. The, the second somebody wants to say, I think my dad passed away from a crippling illness that he got from adverse reactions to a vaccine. Conspiracy right. theorist. No, you're a conspiracy okay. theorist. Conspiracy theorist. <laughs> but Cardin, <laughs> what about, okay, the other woman who died about a week ago, Midwin Charles. Now she was a right. former MSNBC and CNN legal analyst and she was a <laughs> lawyer doing her thing. Right? Tell it. She's 47 years old and drops dead. Mm -hmm. well, Nobody you know, is talking about the fact that, oh, she posted on her Twitter on March uh, 1st right? that I got the vaccine. Yep. yep. And here we go. A month later, she drops dead. A mm -hmm. healthy 47 year old mm -hmm. woman. Yeah. Well, you know, we're Seems seeing these cases. A lot lately. We're, seeing, we're seeing these cases develop. And, you know, we've all understood that when it comes to a something that is created in warp speed. Right. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. skips yeah. Uh, animal trials. Yep. Uh, and now they're basically doing the trials on the public mm -hmm. and yeah. coming from a person that actually has seen a family member pass away due to mm. something like this. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, we, we see these cases and we could talk about it, but it's a difference when someone actually knows it and lived it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm telling you right now, from a person in my perspective, yeah, it's happening. It's kind of it's scary been happening. And you know what? There's a large group of people that it's been happening to prior yeah. and no one really gives media coverage. But this is on yep. a wide scale. There's it's 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 going to be epidemic. Do you all know anybody? Point personally that has taken the vaccine no because i know people that has yeah, personally I taken really? it and wait, I, I hate to say wait, it wait wait carton did you say you took it but i'm, no, I'm I looking at these people have. and i'm watching oh, wow. the wait for side effects <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm like watching the ear to fall off or 
uh, no necrosis to happen or yeah. I mean I don't wish bad things on anybody right. of course but I'm just waiting with bated well, breath well, well, to see well, think about how nefarious this is okay right. think about how really nefarious this is that the media is not covering something that could be potentially hazardous for the for the general public people are dying Okay, mm-hmm. after taking this vaccine. Now, you better believe that this was something that yeah. was under the Trump administration. If this was something that was going on and Trump was president and yeah. he was pushing this particular vaccine on a consistent basis and people started dropping dead, you him. better believe they would. And not only you are they dropping it. dead, they're still catching COVID. Did you guys hear about it was a high number of like over 100 cases of vaccinated people that still caught COVID Here we go. and died? Yep, just like well, and, 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 and it, it does have <laughs> so to do it's with not the even fact. a vaccination <laughs> yeah and it does have to do with the fact that we have a democrat president i mean look at this yes. right now yes dc drano posts this all right and it brings up a good point he says black americans are avoiding the covid vaccine at record rates now democrats want to mandate vaccine <laughs> yeah. passports in blue states which could disproportionately exclude black americans from stores concerts and travels wow. had george bush been president Huh. And said, as part of the Patriot Act, we are going to enact vaccine passports for black people. The, for yeah, well, black people. The, well, disproportionately, I mean, for yeah. all people. But, but there would be a million leftist think tanks that would say, yeah. "This vaccine passport is going to disproportionately affect it. the black community, yeah. especially in black cities yeah. and blue states. Therefore, it is a racist, racist. law. Yeah. Thank you. Therefore, we need well, to get I rid of had- it." I just had an epiphany. You're so right. Well, you, no, you're so right. Wait, because you, you just had, I that, just had that epiphany. Right? It's been <laughs> it, 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 they talk about it's so racist because uh-huh. black people can't get IDs. So then what? We can't get vaccination, vaccination passports? passports either, right. Uh, yeah. Think about yeah. it. Oh, but you know what? Like, <laughs> we can't get. No, yeah. wait, hold on. So we we cannot get, get passports, though. So why are they pushing because for vaccine passports? To, exactly. Because that's racist against us. That's just racist. They know what it's for. Like just the other day, I actually posted a uh, perspective <laughs> on my like account right there, about saying like that, that right I do take a vaccine. I actually am not an anti-vaxxer, right? And I went on and some people was like, oh shit. That was like, a great post, by the way. You got me in the no. beginning. But I take vaccines every day, yeah. right? I feel like healthy people uh-huh. do. Mm-hmm. And I was saying I took a dose of my uh, my, my, my zinc, my uh, turmeric, Come and on. activated with black pepper, organic uh, I prefer to call juice. it African-American pepper. We don't use <laughs> African-American <laughs> pepper. <laughs> well... <laughs> Well, now that's getting because it could be Negro pepper. Oh, yeah, yeah, some yeah. Oh, color pepper. <laughs> color you know pepper. <laughs> I'm going to exclude myself from this conversation. I was going to say you and you alone pepper. are responsible for what I mean, you say on the show. Hey, some people feel that you know, but hey, like the thing is, you know, we are not anti-vaxxers. Thank you. I'm just pro-natural vaccine. Yeah. Yeah. And well, it's pro choice. Like, why does vaccine has to even be political? Why does it you. have to be associated with any of certain group? Well, well, and why can't it just forget, be a choice? Mm-hmm. Don't forget, these are the people that are calling you a <laughs> <That's conspiracy. laughs> You know? Like, I mean, wow. you always have to remember the people calling you yeah. a conspiracy yeah. theorist for yeah. saying, you know, I'm 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 adverse to taking a vaccine mm-hmm. yeah. for a disease that I feel I will survive with a 99.9% right. you survival. know chance of survival. Right. And besides, I'm healthy as a horse. Drink, I see you drinking your celery juice. Come when on you now. Come in here. Exactly. Come on and, now. and taking your zinc and everything. Right here. Come on. You're bringing it by the bam, 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 baby. Celery yes, juice. sir. Exactly. So it's like, <laughs> I look at you and you're like, you're probably not going to get a disease. Yet the people calling you insane yeah. literally walk into Whole Foods. You got yeah. it. Like, like that. And by the way, they would say that she's not doing enough because she's not triple masked. And, exactly. And she's probably she's like that. And she probably is like that in her car when she drives. Oh, don't get me started her on those windows people. Up. Don't get me started yeah. on those people, man. And now I wanted to touch on this really fast before we segue on, right? Have uh-huh. you guys noticed that during the entire pandemic, mm-hmm. all of the professionals, the CDCs that we're supposed to listen to, the yeah. quack Fauci's and every medical <laughs> expert, not I once that did they advise the American people to build your immune system. Thank Thank you. Not once well, did, when you went to the grocery stores, mm-hmm. it was the baking aisle that was selling out of shelves. Right, the produce right, wasn't selling right. out. It um, was amazing to me that people were stocking up on toilet tissue. Come on, but the fruit and produce. No, we, well, 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 that's not that's not a questionable thing. Come we all know why because <laughs> the pharmaceutical industry is literally a lobbyist for exactly. right now. for so government saying, for government and for news entities. Right. That's the reason why every time you got on the news, next thing you know, your, your next yeah. commercial is a pharmaceutical commercial. So check right. it. It was literally saying this. Don't 
protect your own health. Come on, and don't now. think for yourself and eat healthy. Yeah. Put your life and health in our hands. In our the hands. Pharmaceutical company. Yes, you got it. We're here to save you. I've had this. I had this conversation with another gentleman uh, on his podcast, and we were talking about this very thing mm -hmm. about how they did not promote healthy lifestyle, ha healthy living. They didn't promote you going out there and going to the gym and building yourself up and keeping yourself healthy and yeah. staving off uh, uh, certain conditions like heart attacks and diabetes. Yes. They didn't say go out there and, and get some whole foods and Thank and you. and. and, and Yo, actually, an exchange, an exchange. They, they actually promoted literally the opposite. They promoted well, things to weaken the immune system. Well, thank you. Well, Staying say, inside and quarantining and not getting sun, not being and being anti-social, which we all know happiness creates the endorphins. Oh, endorphins all of that is healthy. Come on now. Triple and double masking, breathing in your own CO2. The they and, literally promoted and, things that are anti. -immune. And the one thing, and the one thing that one person that actually was trying to promote, they mm -hmm. demonized and attacked. And who you was got it. it? Who was it? Who was it? You got it. <laughs> who was it? <laughs> who was it that that uh that uh was it that that uh um, black lady? The black lady. The, well, um, not just her, but there's a multiple doctors that did do that. Oh, the, that was the, the panel, that panel. But the main person that was was the president of the United States. I was going to jump in and say. They got censored and demonized real bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. And the thing that bothers me is they is OK, we can show all of these articles where, you know, Rogan or Hanley points out that, mm -hmm. you know, that, this really yeah, should be a liberal view of um, how a vaccine passport would um, hurt the black community. And we can look and joke about the people that are calling us conspiracies um, theorists, you know, look like this. But at the <laughs> right. end of the day. Like, it's not just African-Americans. Nope. You know, three Speaking in 10 it. white evangelicals yeah. now don't want to take the vaccine, it's right? people who just want to make a choice for themselves. Yeah, so so here, let's see what they well, got. There needs, to be more. Choice. there needs to be more than three to ten. Yeah. <laughs> my body, my, my body, choice. My choice. <laughs> I love that, right? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm faithful yes, God's going to take care of me. And I guess what I would hope they might consider is that maybe a vaccine is part of God's plan for how you're going to take care of yourself. God's plan. Uh, they bring in God oh, into wow. a man-made vaccine. No See, now, 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 that, now that's the evil agenda right there. Come on. That's satanic. Come How are you going to bring God into a man-made experimental Thank vaccine? You. Don't bring God into this mess. Come on. You kidding me right now? But now, finally, men can say, my body, my choice we, uh, now. My body, <laughs> my Everybody can say, my body, my, my, body, my, my choice. choice. You know what no saying? thank you on yeah. the vaccine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no immune system, no choice. What hmm. was the name I of the immune say, system? I would say God's involved, though. I would say God's involved because God said we are free human beings, and that's what comes with our God-given rights, exactly. right? God-given rights. On, it's not the United States given rights. Come on now. It's well, God-given rights. Not Peter, and Peter I don't need it. And rights. <laughs> it Definitely ain't not Dr. Fauci. Yeah. It ain't Kicks right. God-given rights. Come it on, ain't Hope's God-given rights. God huh. gave us these rights. Hey, so. what was the name of that movie where the actress from Fried Green Tomatoes found the hiker and every time she nursed him back to health and every time he almost got healthy enough to escape, she re-broke the bones in his body. So oh, she that, was, uh, what, what was that? that was that. What movie was that? That was that... Sally Fields. Oh, what was no, that no, movie? I don't remember the name, but let's listen oh. to this one more time. And doesn't this sound like something she would say? You know, sometimes I've, I've heard uh, people, people I care about saying, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, if, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm faithful, God's going to take care of me. And I guess what I would hope they might consider is that maybe a vaccine is part of God's plan for how you're going to take care of yourself. Wow. Awesome. Don't you see some horror no, movie yes. like serial killer saying right before they I, inject you? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's the last thing you hear before you block out. God wants this. Go see him. Yes. Like, I could literally see her as she's about to break the leg. Yes. yes. Maybe this is part of God's plan that you were sent here for me to nurse you to health as I crack. bam crack. <laughs> no, that was like a, a Kathy Bates misery moment. Yes. Misery. Yes. Yeah. yes. Misery. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's goodness gracious. funny, that's funny. I wonder how BLM feel about the vaccine. You ain't black. <laughs> and you ain't black.